<laughs> Welcome to this episode of Truth Talk, this yeah. special episode of Truth Talk. Before we um, go into the session proper, let's watch this short clip. Hi, my name is Victoria Deshola, and today I will be speaking about my experience with pride. So I moved to Canada almost two years ago now, and I was ready. I was ready to get that great job. I was ready to kickstart my career. I was ready to go out there and do great things. <laughs> so I started applying for jobs. You know, I would put in the effort, write those cover letters, make it great. And I was getting rejection emails instead. Or even worse, I was getting no responses at all. And I was like, okay, okay, what is happening? So after a couple of months um, or a couple of weeks, I said, I cannot sit at a home any longer. I need to do something while I'm waiting. So I decided to apply for um, a lower position job, uh, something that I, it was not what I wanted to do, but I just said, let me do this in the meanwhile, while I wait. So I was working the job, you know, I was doing what I could, trusting God. <laughs> and one day while on the job, the thought just came to me, Vicky. You're a master's graduate and you're doing this job. Hey, really? Really? And it was as if, it was as if I just, it's as if I felt like I wanted to explode. I'm like, that's true. I'm a master's graduate. What am I doing? <laughs> and if I realized that that was me thinking from a place of pride. I had been banking on my achievements on the fact that I graduated from school early, that I got my degrees. And you know, the book of Jeremiah chapter nine, verse 23 says, let not the wise man boast in his wisdom, which is what I was doing. And I had to go through that process and learn from that process. And that verse also says that you should boast instead in the fact that you know God and that you understand that God is a God that practices steadfast love. And that is something that I had to realize that God, irrespective of whatever it is that I'm going through, you are a God of steadfast love, you're a God of justice. And so it was a difficult experience, it was a difficult season of my life, but I had to learn from it. And it made me realize that nobody is above pride, like nobody's above pride. And it's it's, it's a lesson that we all have to learn at one point or the other. Welcome back everyone. Yes, yeah, so, um, we have daddy with us. It's a privilege to have daddy here. And because of that, we would like to be drawing from his well of wisdom. So we're going to be asking daddy a few questions. Right. And also daddy will be shedding light on pertinent issues that, you know, is salient and relevant to us today. So I want to um, dive a little bit into an issue that is, um, that is um, pertinent. Yes, mm -hmm. it's plaguing the church and, you know, believers and people generally, and that's the issue of pride. So I want to ask, first of all, what is pride? What are the manifestations of pride? How can someone know that they actually are proud? Mm. Um, Proverbs say there are seven things the Lord hates. Mm. I say that, and they are born nation. Number one, is say the proud look. Mm. You know, a proud look, a hand that is, and devices evil. And if you look at Psalm 101, it says that uh, he that has a proud heart. Mm. God doesn't like it. James 4 says, God resists the proud and give grace to the humble. Pride means the physical definition of Christ, an exalted body. Mm -hmm. You know, something makes you above every other person. We look at Isaiah 14 about Lucifer. Say, thou was perfect until iniquity was found in thee. Mm -hmm. If you look at Ezekiel 20, the same thing, say, I will ascend to the throne. I, 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 I. I. And pride is a spirit. It's a spirit because how did... I mean, Lucifer was an archangel. The Bible said that was perfect until iniquity was found in thee. Mm -hmm. Now, the presence of God is holy. The level of holiness in God's presence is unparalleled. Now, how did iniquity sneak into that place? Mm -hmm. How did it get to the archangel? Mm -hmm. And pride is sort like, it's just like a virus that corrupts the entire computer system. Mm -hmm. So when it sneaks in, it's a very soft tool for him to face God. You know, for him to have that effrontery to face God. You know, it's a spirit. Mm. And Bible says pride goes beyond before a fall. So pride is a feeling of rising above other people, thinking, oh, I'm the best. I'm higher than this person. Look at what happened to Nebuchadnezzar. I said, I will, I, will, I, 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 I. 
not recognizing the fact that you are whatever you are by God's grace. Mm -hmm. So once the high spirit itself, you know, self that is, 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 more, is, is more important than seeing God behind everything. The moment you don't see God behind whatever you are doing and you, you worship your effort, your skill, mm -hmm. what you know how to do best, mm -hmm. it usually happens when you know something you know you are very good at. Mm -hmm. So there is tendency for you to ascribe the glory to your, 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 your skill, mm -hmm. your finesse, your what you think you know how to do. Mm -hmm. When you see someone, you see people who, know, who, who understand these things, they usually return the glory back to God. Mm -hmm. The consequences of pride is that we've seen from James, James 4, 6, that God resists the proud. When you say resist, now I was asking some people the question, if God resists somebody, can he make the rapture? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the old version is even more hard. It says, <laughs> you know, he, fight, he, he fights, them. He fights yeah. them. You understand that God resists. He puts up a fight against yeah, them, right. which means he can't tolerate them. So the person he cannot tolerate, how does he come and say, I'm coming to take my people? He says, this one is not one of them. Mm -hmm. And he says, what God hates, a proud heart. Yes. You know, he says, the thing the Lord hates. Mm -hmm. So he hates it vehemently. So unfortunately, church, church never hammers on pride. Yes. We hammer on all other things, but we don't hammer this one. We don't see the danger it poses. Mm -hmm. What he did to Nebuchadnezzar, can you see what he did to him? It turned, it turned him to an animal for seven years. Mm -hmm. it, it turned the rod for seven and a half. It, it was killed instantly, was struck down struck instantly because he did not give glory unto God. Mm -hmm. So the consequences is that one is not in God's good book. Mm -hmm. it, the consequence is that person will be resisted. Mm -hmm. You know, that, and if you want to work with God, Amos 3 3 says, except you, you can't work except, two can't work except. Yeah. They agree. And when it's emphasizing, I mean, humility, the Bible says, don't, say, don't be high-minded, but condescend to men of low estate. High-mindedness, you know, looking down on people. No, 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 I can't take this curve. This is too low for my, for my liking. Now, part of the manifestation, which I did mention the other time, that we have this issue in the church now, class problems. Class. No, this one is not my class. This one is not. You understand? Get to some places. The way they look at you, they are telling you that, look, you don't belong here. You understand? You know, so these things, these things, the way God sees it. You know, Proverbs says, he that despises his neighbor sin it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you understand? And that's very, people snob, people stylish snobbing or deliberate snobbing, it's all, it's all pride. You know, so the, the, the consequences is that one is not in God's good book. God will resist the person. Mm -hmm. And um, if Lucifer had not recovered, he has not recovered from the from that sin. He's still rebellious. He's still carrying angels all about that. The rebellious angels have not returned because of pride. Mm -hmm. And the the the, the why well, you will know that one is proud. The consciousness of the fact that you are humble is the manifestation of pride. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Thank you, sir. <laughs> the, the consciousness of the fact that you are humble is the manifestation of pride. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thank God for like, my life. I'm so I'm humble. So humble. <laughs> Now, who marked your paper? Who told you you are humble? You marked it yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, it's people that should say, ah, thank God for the life of this person. Mm -hmm. And the way you presented things, we should. An example of somebody who was humble was Naman the, le the leper, a general in the army, mm -hmm. listened to a slave girl. Yes. And that humility saved him. Mm -hmm. Because he said, ah, there's a prophet in this. And he went. When that one said, go and wash, he was angry. The, the people, the servants told him again, Oga, cool down, and they cool down. A general. You know, a general, look at, you know, in this very high ranking position. But he humbled himself to listen to a house girl. And that helped him. He would have died a leper. It's the humility he had saved him. You know, when you are humble, it may be a five year old boy that will tell you that this thing is. But, you know, because you can listen, that will save you. Mm -hmm. But when you are proud, you didn't listen. Somebody has a better suggestion. There was a man of God, they fell into one big sin. And after the sin, people are like, many people have seen the revelation. Who, who dare goes to him? Mm -hmm. You know that it makes people una become unapproachable. Mm -hmm. So when people see things about you, they can't come to you. You get it. Ah, you know, they say, when, when did you give your life? You are seeing revelation you. <laughs> when did you get born again? You are, you are seeing revelation about me? 
<laughs> you understand that kind of yeah. thing. And those things, warning can come from anywhere. Mm -hmm. Almost humble himself to a level that one should be able to, you know, pride can get to a particular level. I always say it, I don't know, but I tell people when people are brothers and sisters in church, they can worship. Oh, but I discover as people begin to grow higher in hierarchy, they are worshiping and praising God goes down. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed? Yeah, that's true. Go and check fellowship on some. See how Esco's worship. <laughs> they become exact. The same brother that used to dance. Mm. Once now, this same gen sec of the fellowship is quite his worship, his, his songs, his dances are calculated. <laughs> his dances are calculated. That's so true. I don't over dance before God. David danced a lot. You understand? You get caught in. You have this on you have this unnecessary thing you begin to do to yourself. You understand? You now feel conscious. You People used to greet you. They can't greet you anymore. Mm -hmm. You now systematically begin to detach. Mm -hmm. I don't know where we got that idea of leadership from. You now become far from the people. Mm -hmm. It doesn't pick your cause anymore. You select who you, you do get one. Something has begun to change. And leadership shouldn't change you. You are still the person. It didn't change Jesus. Why should it change you? He's being the king of kings did not make him... Bible says he didn't take it robbery to be called himself. He didn't claim his right. Mm -hmm. He still leveled with people. Mm -hmm. So our position shouldn't make us detached from people. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't make us select who we shake, select who do you understand what I'm saying? Making people feel bad. I had an experience some years ago, and uh, I'm forgiving the man in my heart because I still loved him. I saw his picture recently on Facebook. But that time as I was distributing books, so we should be giving to men of God. This is a man I love so much. You know that kind of way. People love, they love to meet him. So they said, I, I deliberately made sure that I wanted to give that man the book. So I now go to his church. Ah, and it, was, it, was, it was after service, so I waited. So with excitement in my hand, I saw him. I said, hey, I'm going to meet this man today. This man I've been loving to see. So when I saw him, I said, sir, uh, I want to be. He said, hey, wait, wait, wait. Hey, PA, I called the man. I said, attend to this man. Mm -hmm. So, ah, and I looked at him. So, ah, so I can't see this man. So the PA now, he said, what do I want? He said, I'm from Mozana. They said, I should give this man a book. That man, is that all? He now collected the book. The man, the PA collected the book, and I went, huh? I was just looking at him. So I can't greet this man. Huh? So what will I have? What, what do I need to do to have met him? You know, without excitement, I just went home. I went back to Ife. I said, huh? Wow. You know, and that thing, it took some time before I could leave my... You know, that like yes, that? I like, ah, how would I feel if I just shook his hand? Mm -hmm. You know, how, how would I, how would it feel to me that ah, I met my dream man today? Or, you know, <laughs> but just for the day for me, you know. Then I saw the man later, in, yeah, yes, and I saw him one day and uh, in one program. It was, we were close, like, but I couldn't mm. move near him. I was, the experience was not what I, <laughs> What, you know, and there was another man of God, that one, uh, who was a very big man, he's a bishop. And all. So he met us in the book and he held our hand like this. Mm -hmm. And he was just one, and he didn't release the hand. Come, 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 follow me, you understand? Mm -hmm. And Masai was not very known at that time, but he, you know, he, 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 I learned a lot from his experience. Mm -hmm. And that has guided me a lot that in, in life, one has to be careful. You know, one has to be careful. The consequences <laughs> is that God doesn't like it. So whatever God doesn't like, yes. you know, if you have if you have manifestation of pride, I say without reservation, you are not holy. Mm -hmm. You are proud. You are not holy. It's not part of it because it's not a it's not a fruit of the spirit. Mm -hmm. it's, if we count it, humility is there, but pride is not there. So anyone having pride, you know, people don't see anything bad in it. <laughs> Even while you are preaching, you can see pride in your preaching. You know, for us who are in drama and anything that has to do with meeting people, mm. one must be very, very careful. Imagine somebody being excited. Oh, I want to take photo with you. I want Even if you are going to, you have to be stylish about it. Mm -hmm. Because that person is carrying that impression away. Mm. I met one of them one day. Come and see how you snub me. Ah, those people. And he's about to watch your movie. And he's just like, no, no, I'm not watching these guys. I met them. Mm, so cocky, so mm. arrogant. You've lost somebody. Mm -hmm. And some people say, ah, you see the way I met you. Really? Ah, in fire, those people are, oh, they are so wonderful. Yes, they are painting the picture behind your back. Mm -hmm. Now that picture can make you or mar you. Mm -hmm. So first impression usually, it, it, it's lasting. Yeah. 
I am a well guy in the market, a popular market not too long ago. This guy just showed up from nowhere. Ha ah, ha hey, hey, what's going on? I just want this thing. Hey, please, can I take, can I take a picture with you? I said, ah. I just called my wife, let's take a picture with this guy. <laughs> because I don't know, if I say I'm sorry, sorry, I'm very, very sorry, I'm not, you know. <laughs> you know, so, you know, God will help us. Yeah, no. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Oh, thank you so much for that. That's very explicit. Yeah. So, Daddy, in uh, what are the things you can look for to like? What are the manifestations of pride? How will somebody know? Okay, I think these are traces of pride, and I need to watch out for these things. One of the things one should watch is that despising other people. Mm. You, you despise. You know, is this one prayer? This one is this one. Is this prayer? This one is prayer. Mm. You know, super super prayers. Mm. Oh, and see, we pray for practice hours. <laughs> that is, you know, that is a, a sense mm. of superiority. Mm. You know, okay, this one, you see this thing, you condemn people easily. You know, that thing makes you feel, you above. know, you're above other people. You know, like, it happens, look, that's a proud look. Mm. Which means there's a look that shows that one is proud. Mm. 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 There's also a humble look and there's a proud look. That's what is played in the entertainment industry. Hero worshipping. Sense of recognition. How oh, it's me. Celebrity, let the, you know, you understand that. I mean, drawing attention to yourself, you know, wanting to be seen, you know, wanting to be, You feel hot when you're not recognized. Mm -hmm. You feel bad when people don't. You do understand. Mm -hmm. That thing that is hurting you is the issue. Mm -hmm. You know, when you want to know whether you are proud, let somebody say, Who are you? Which is then the thing will rise. Ah, you know me. What the hell? That is when the, the thing will rise up. You know, do you know who, who, you know, there was a story of a popular general who was saying that they are traveled abroad and the, the house is stayed in. They said the rule is this house that you have to wash your plates. <laughs> Everybody, and that's what some of them do. Mm -hmm. As I have an expense, when you finish eating your water, okay, go to the sink. There's all types of wash your plates. So the general manager was logical. Unfortunately, the husband was not around, so they were eating in the diner and they made the announcement that this location don't know this house. <laughs> everybody was shish. <laughs> so, and everybody was watching. So, the G was watching his own. When the husband came in, the husband screamed, hey, my dear, what are you doing? Don't you know me? He said, you know, I see our flat to talk to you here. Hey, you're asking him to wash his plate? Did you go to kill him? And the husband said, no, the rule is that. We should go and I'm following you. Yeah. Do you understand? You know, yeah. you should have told the woman, do you know me? Yeah. <laughs> if you have known me, you won't tell me to watch me. Mm. Well, he didn't even say that. Mm. He didn't just went to do what they asked him to do. Do you, do you understand? Just see himself, not you, you get that yeah. you know that yeah. you get that kind of a thing. You know, when they say, Okay, I go and line up, I don't care who you are, just line. <laughs> you know that you understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But when you say, Do you know who you are? You know, you know, yes, two days ago we were talking about the life of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord Jesus Christ was so humble to the point that when they wanted to arrest him, they didn't even know him. Yes. That was mind blowing. They go to the knees and could not know him. My team. <laughs> you know, who is he? It's not for Judas that that killed him. You know, you know that kind of blending, which is hierarchy, the king of kings, just blended. And I look at it, can we find it in the world? You understand? The Mopul are already beating everybody because somebody is coming. Yeah. <laughs> How was the woman able to touch the hem of Jesus? Mm. He was a man of the people. Mm. See, we had the Mopuls are beating you that you have a opportunity of getting close to, the, to, to somebody. And in that contact, she got her healing. Mm. I just imagine, she got her contact like that. So, the skip, the mean, Christianity is simplicity. Mm. Christianity was not fashion for us to to be some kind of unaccessible thing gods. Mm -hmm. Whatever we have, what should be the distinguishing factors is to be humble. If Jesus said, um, take this, your, my yoke upon me and let me, and make and lowly, mm -hmm. and you have rest for your soul. The Bible says, let this man be in you, so he can't do it. it not probably to be equal with God. When he, he, he took him upon himself, the form of a servant, and he humbled himself. In John, I think it was in John 6 or John 7, that's when, I mean, John was asking the question, I was lying on the bosom. Mm -hmm. He lying physically on the bosom of me. And he clearly played with him. Mm -hmm. I look at it, 
disciples. Of, you know, I mean, what they're going to do. You, know, how, you understand? You know, just playing. I think we like, no, close like that. And maybe playing with his beard. You know, <laughs> I said, you know, that was this and that one. I was asking him a question. They were like, you know, I was painting that picture. I said, ah, what blending is this? You mm. know, what, what kind of, you know, blending is this? You know, and look at Thomas. Thomas was asking me a question. He said they are zooming for me. They are saying, eh, show me your hand. He showed him the head, showing him the right hand, showing him the kids. And he was showing him everything. You know, how do we? So, it's a school we will never graduate from. It's a school of humility. You know, and of course, the, the president and founder of humility is Jesus Christ. The president and founder of pride is Lucifer. You know, he's the one that originated pride. Pride does not come from pride because Jesus never exhibited pride. But Lucifer did. And when the time one sees, he comes to quickly be with it before it gets out of hand. It's a monster that is spiritual. You can't can tackle pride physically. It's a, it's a stronghold the one needs to take with it. If you, if you can finish Lucifer, a happy angel. If you can finish him, who are we? You know, if you can finish him, if you have the end of confronting God. So you see people say, there's nobody I cannot face you. That's it, you can imagine. Mm. There's nobody I cannot talk to. Ah, I don't care, I don't bloody care, I can step on toes. Mm. That is it at work. Mm. How would you not care? Mm. I don't care who I offend. Mm. I, don't, I don't bloody care. Oh, you know, you know, you, you understand what I'm saying. Mm. You know. I was somewhere some day, some time ago, and some man was there telling his pastor, says, look, none of you carry half of what I carry. Mm. You know. In fact, we don't know me and me at all. So, asking people not to come to the headquarters and uh, stay in your branches. Mm. What do you want to feed them? Direct them to where they are. Do you understand what I'm saying? Ah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, that is how grandiose, I mean, how grandiose something could be. Yeah. You know, one thing, perhaps you only puff it up. When you know something new, you become what you are thinking. You remember the first time after your graduation when you get to now you felt <laughs> you know, like, ah, yeah. you know, when your mom does something, they say, I just want it. Like, oh, no, 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 it's illegal. <laughs> that thing just want you to let it out. You know, let them you know, no, no, let me, don't go and deal with it. It will make you, you know, yeah. make you feel good. Now I know. <laughs> now I, I know. So you know, you now begin to let people know but but when there's humility, you just say, Okay, Daddy, thank you so much for thank you, Daddy, Daddy. <laughs> thank you very much. all the thank analogies you. and the explanations. Thank okay, you. now, in a case whereby someone is literally battling with pride, the person has tried to say, okay, I'll be humble today, <laughs> but <as, laughs> it's it, 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 it's so difficult for him to control or how to control himself. So how can, how can someone um, overcome pride or how can someone um, become humble? Someone who is genuinely battling with it and needs help with the spirit of pride. Uh, as I said before, I said it's a spirit. Mm -hmm. You used to mention it now, the spirit of pride. Mm -hmm. So one has to take it to the Lord in prayers, that Lord makes some deliberate prayers mm -hmm. about it, that I break the power of the spirit of pride. Incidentally, pride can be inherited. Mm -hmm. It could be transferred. If you, have a, uh, if you check history, if you discover that it's a fundamental problem. Look at anger, for example. Moses was angry. And when we trace him, it was from the tribe of Levi. You know, they were the ones that attacked the, uh, when dinner, when dinner, when they, they attacked, they attacked the children of Jacob and destroyed them. Mm -hmm. Jacob said, cost to be their anger. Mm -hmm. So Moses came from the tribe of Levi. Mm -hmm. He spent 40 days in God's presence. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. Carried the tablet and still yes, broke it. Okay. The 40 days in his God's presence did not take away that anger from him. Mm -hmm. Because, it, you know, it was an inherited thing. Solomon inherited immorality from David, David inherited from Judah. It was transferred to us. It was a negative evil flow. Sometimes it could be a negative evil flow from a family, a family bloodline. Mm -hmm. When you trace your forefather, this man was very arrogant and proud. And if naturally you see it happening to you. The man is a cat. He can talk. He can talk to anybody without any remorse. You now begin to see this how my dad was. Ah, no. I must, this must not happen. So, Second Corinthians 10 verse says, our purpose of warfare are not canna. So, this, it, it, pride is a spirit that is not an ordinary one. If you can battle Lucifer, 
So it's not something you say, I want to follow rules, I will not be proud today. It's gone beyond that. It's an involuntary action. It's not like anger. Before you say, Jack, you have broken the cup. It has something greater than you is controlling you. So we're trying to use physical rules and regulation, you can't handle it. You understand? I say, I won't be proud to this one. Say, yeah, look at this one, this one, this ugly duckling. Look at how she is. Look at her hair. Say, me, when were you born? When did you, you, you it started manifesting? Yeah. But when God has taken over you, you see, you'll be like someone who is just dead. Mm-hmm. When people say things, you find that you begin to, hey, me, and I'm not even moved. Look at this ugly comment they threw at me, and I'm not even moved. Mm-hmm. You know, something happened recently. Somebody attacked Daddy Mike on the social media. He said um, he, he was talking about some of our movies that movies was attacking the Yoruba tradition. He attacked him, and when the man was when he replied, it blew everybody's mind. He said, "Perhaps you know the way he answered." Ah, everybody was like, "Eh?" Everybody was like, "This man, we is going to give him the piece of his mind. He's going to attack." <laughs> going to, but the way he replied, I said, "Wow." You know, you know, there are some things people tell you on social media the way they will handle you. You know, maybe one seven, maybe one fourteen year old boy is the one attacking you. <laughs> You know, and when you check his profile, you know that somebody, you understand. Mm-hmm. The flesh will say, face this guy and finish him. Mm-hmm. When were you born? Who gave when, You understand? But when it's humility, the way you will handle mm-hmm. the person, mm-hmm. you know, you have, you have, the Bible says, overcome evil with good. good. Did, you, did you get the issue now? So, number one, handling it from the spiritual point of view, mm-hmm. dealing with the pride, the spirit of pride, attacking that spirit with the word of God, using the word of God against it. In the word of God against it, and in the name of Jesus, I bind you, spirit of pride. You will not have dominion mm-hmm. over me. Mm-hmm. I take the spirit of pride, prime of Christ, which is the spirit of humility, because Christ is in me. And the Bible says that doesn't have the spirit of Christ is none of this. Mm-hmm. So the spirit of Christ is the spirit of humility. Mm-hmm. So when you have the nature of Christ, you are conforming to His image, mm-hmm. and part of His image and character is humility. So if one sees himself not working out, and when people are giving you feedback, mm-hmm. ah, ah, the way you spoke to that person, ah, ah, it was too mm-hmm. this thing. Mm-hmm. Humility will make you apologize. But it was the one that was wrong now. Mm-hmm. Ah, what does it mean? How could you be attacking me? Look at all, you know, someone, mm-hmm. you still be making cases. Mm-hmm. You know, pride will make you difficult to apologize. I went to see meetings where people, no, I can't apologize. No, 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 no. It was the one wrong. No, 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 no. Lie, lie. Right. Cannot. These are people who are hierarchy people in the Lord. Though. They will say, no, 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 no. He must apologize. No, 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 no. I can't apologize to him. I see the eye at work. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? You know, it's so bad that I'm going to say, I'm going to the who is ministry. Oh, well, so and so. I'm not going. Okay. You understand? He said, we go there, I think that he's coming to fellowship. I'm not going. You know, some people have to check posters before they go to programs. <laughs> Who is it? You know, it's so bad that some people will not attend churches where they are not older than the pastor. Yeah. Mm. Ah, it's so bad like that. Say, so when was he born? When was he born? Oh, my. When you buy with your monomy, that's when you begin to see things. When is people saying, my mates? When my mates are, you know, that person, mm. you know, you know, begin to say, ah, ah. But when all my mates are already having cathedrals, mm. me, I'm still, you see that kind of a thing. Yeah. You don't see, are you the same? Pride makes you compete. You see people who are in competition, you know, this one has issues. You know, when somebody has done something, oh, this one has been through, through talk now. Let us, let's go and call ourselves honest talk. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying now? Okay. You see? So it, it, it's the, the, the spirit of competition. Mm-hmm. You know, something making feeling you inadequate. Mm-hmm. Makes you feel inferior to other people. So you now want to make up for it. You know, people with inferiority complex, they want to try and do some things just to make sure that, no, 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 I'm also relevant. Mm-hmm. You know, something in them is feeling, making them feel we are not enough. So let us do some other things. Mm-hmm. Let's do some character damage. Let's okay. lie them. Let's do some things. Let's, or let's just do some self-promotion to make sure that we are there. Mm-hmm. Do, you, do you get what I'm yes. saying? These are all kind of things that will be, you know, and um, the scary part of it is that, Anything done with wrong motive has no reward. Mm-hmm. You know, anything that has... Jesus said, if you show off your money before people, mm-hmm. he said, you have received your reward. Mm-hmm. We are going to do, we may give offering. Everybody is seeing what you are giving. He says, you have received your reward. So no, no reward again. It's supposed to be a sacrifice, but the, 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 the conduct has destroyed the whole thing. So Jesus, he, he has given us the way we are supposed to handle things. Mm-hmm. You know, we are not supposed to make some things obvious. I want to give this cup now, and I'll call all the press. 
I am giving this cup to true talk. <laughs> All the cameras are snapping, pra, 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 and they are, so that they know mm -hmm. that I did it. So have you seen that guy? He was the one that donated cup for them. <laughs> You understand? Yeah, but sure. something touched me recently when I, when I attended church some time ago. And they, they announced that they needed a, a bass guitar and a, and, a, and a combo system. And then if anybody got touches you, bring it. And lo and behold, the next one we saw the, the, the curtain unwrapped. They've not even unwrapped it. They put it in a family which remains unknown, has brought this. Mm. That's how we grew. Mm. You know, he need is just announce the need before you know it is is done, mm -hmm. and God knows the person. Full stop. Mm -hmm. You know that's how we that's how Christianity was. Until we started hiring cameras to give back of rights to people. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So the Lord will help us. Amen. 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 Wow, Daddy, thank you so much. Thank you for inviting me to True Talk. Thank you, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, thank you. We are doing a great work here. Thank God, sir. <laughs> so, Daddy, please, can you just pray for us and our viewers? Ah, Father, we are grateful for the privilege to be called your children. Thank you, Lord, for this program. We thank you, Lord, for what we've discussed. We too are trusting God that you will help us to be like you. I pray, Lord, wherever spirit of pride is manifesting in the life of anybody, Father, Deal with it, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. You said any tree my father has not planted shall be uprooted. Mm -hmm. You didn't plant pride there. The enemy did it. Mm -hmm. Let it be uprooted in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for more power and grace for your children yes. handling this program in Jesus' name. Amen. Grace to finish strong, grace to finish well. Let it be the portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Your voice will not fail you. Your health will not fail you. Your strength will not fail you. Amen. This program will grow from this level to a greater level Amen. in Jesus' name. You enlarge the course of each of these of these your wonderful children. Mm -hmm. We thank you for this time. Jesus. We return all the glory unto you, Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you once again. Thank you. Thank you. Very cool. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us as well. I'm sure you've been jotting because this session was so rich. So rich. So till next time. Bye. 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 <laughs>